It's been a little more than a week since a magnitude 7 earthquake devastated Haiti. The view from above Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, shows a picture of despair. Boats off the coast are loaded with people with no home and no place to go. Relief officials estimate a million and a half people are now homeless because of the quake. Meanwhile, rescuers continue to pull survivors from the wreckage of collapsed buildings in Port-au-Prince. Teams from Mexico and South Africa saved a woman trapped for seven days in the National Cathedral, dirty, weak, and dehydrated. The woman was found under a mountain of debris left by the destruction of the archbishop's residence. The UN's World Food Program has distributed food rations for more than 200,000 victims of the quake, but the goal is much larger. The relief organization hopes to provide food to at least 2 million people by the end of the month. Joining us now from Haiti is David Orr, spokesman for the World Food Program. Good morning, David. Good morning. How is the population there dealing when it comes to food? Um, well, obviously there's extreme need. We're now one week after the earthquake. Um, and there is a very dispersed population in and around Port-au-Prince. Uh, they have needs for food, water, medical equipment, and so on. Uh, we are endeavoring to reach as many of these people as possible with our supplies of fortified biscuits and other foods. And David, logistically, how has violence and looting impacted food delivery to the people there? Uh, the World Food Program uh, is using the services of the UN Minister Peacekeeping Force to uh, act as escorts for our convoys and they assist our distributions, uh, securing the area around the trucks, helping form the beneficiaries into orderly lines so that we can uh, act the distributions as uh, have the U.S. food drops been a good tactic? Do you think that that's something that other organizations should utilize to get food to the people who need it most? Well, I think we're looking at all means uh, to reach those most in need. Um, we are working closely with the Americans who have now been helping us lift uh, food supplies from port au -Prince into Jack Mail, a town has been cut off in the south. They've been taking in uh, high energy biscuits and their own ready to eat meals uh, using this air route from the capital uh, to the southern town. Uh, these have not been airdrops, though. We have been offloading uh, the supplies at the airport and using the uh, our distribution partners in that area to bring the food by trucks to those most in need. Uh, World Food Program has not been using airdrops, but I think we're using all means possible. The food is transported by truck using a land corridor from the Dominican Republic. Uh, we're using sea assets, bringing in foodstuffs by ship. And uh, we have flown high energy biscuits for the supplies in from El Salvador and other uh, places uh, to the airport in Port France. David, thank you so much for the information tonight. We really appreciate it.